So good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. And today we remember Ansgar, Archbishop of Hamburg, a missionary in Denmark and Sweden. And um, what can I tell you about him? He was, um, he was from Amiens, I suppose that's in France, isn't it? And educated as a monk at Corby in Picardy before moving to um, northwest Germany. After a period of travel, he eventually settled in Denmark, where King Harold had recently become Christian. And he worked to evangelize the Danes, um, traveled to Sweden, and was responsible for building the first church there and to North Germany. Uh, he was appointed Bishop of Hamburg in 832, um, uh, then returned to Denmark, influential in the conversion of the King of Jutland. He is an example of persistence in often discouraging circumstances. Oh. The areas where he worked were heavily pagan and highly resistant to the gospel. His successes were infrequent and often short-lived, poor man. Uh, his greatest impact was in the north of Germany and Denmark, and they were, these were the only areas that remained Christian after his death. He established schools, cared for the poor, um, tried to reduce the practice of the slave trade. So he was a all round good man, but struggled in his evangelism. Um, so we remember him. Actually, I don't know if you saw the little picture I sent of him round. Yeah, he, he carries that, in all the pictures that uh, are, are done of him, that he's carrying a little church under his arm. Did you see that? Yeah. That's, I don't know why that is, but anyway. It, uh, Perhaps is a reference to that, the churches that he founded, especially that first one in um, Sweden, was it? All right, okay. Great, well, let's make a start. We're back in ordinary time um, for a couple of weeks before, before Lent, yeah? So you're Why do they have all these funny names for things, periods? I, I guess it's, um, I was going to say it's fun, Anne, <laughs> to have... <laughs> To mix things up a bit. Means I think it's just a few, I think it's just to confuse uh, members of the congregation. Only you and Linda really understand it. Make sure you remember the different parts of the Christian year. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, okay, let's, uh, so you'll notice the liturgy has changed a little bit. Oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth rain. Oh Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, your, the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars that you have ordained, what immortals that you should be mindful of them, mere human beings that you should seek them out. You have made them little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You've given them dominion over the works of your hands. Just let Paul in. Uh, and put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the, Father, and to the, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, and Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning and is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Hello, Amen. Paul. Welcome. Morning, Martin. Morning. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. 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 Okay, we've got quite a long psalm today. Um, it's a section from Psalm 119. Basola, do you want to do the even verses? Okay. Okay, thank you. Blessed are those whose way is pure, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies and seek with their all art and seek him with their all art. 
those who do no wickedness but walk in his ways. You, O oh Lord, have charged that we should diligently keep your commandments. Oh, that my ways were made to know so direct that I might keep your statutes. Then should I not be put to shame because I have regard for all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Oh, forsake me not. Or how, shall, how shall young people cleanse their way to keep themselves according to your word? With my whole heart have I sought you. Oh, let me not go astray from your commandments. The words I have I hidden within my heart that I should not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, O oh, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I been telling of all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your testimonies that, than in all manner of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and contemplate your ways. My delight shall be in your statutes, and I will not forget your word. Oh, do good to your servant that I may live, and so shall I keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger upon the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times, with fervent longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the arrogant, cursed are those who stray from your commandments. Turn from me, shame and rebuke, for I have kept your testimonies. Rulers also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. For your testimonies are my delight. They are my faithful counsellors. My soul cleaves to the dust, O oh, give me life according to your word. I have acknowledged my ways and you have answered me. O oh, teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments and so shall I meditate on your wondrous words. My soul makes a way in tears of sorrow. Raise me up according to your word. Take from me the way of falsehood, but be gracious to me through your law. I have chosen the way of truth, and your judgments have I laid before me. I hold fast to your testimonies, O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commandments, when you have set my heart at liberty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. It's a very long psalm, Psalm 119. And it's just saying one thing, which is, I love the law. <laughs> In all these different ways, yeah? It's yeah. Just, I mean, it's rather beautiful, just kind of saying the same thing, but in lots and lots and lots of different ways. Yeah? Yeah. Calls it testimonies, then commandments. Yeah, and yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. But it's... Uh, Oh, I like particularly the verse, open my eyes, O Lord, that I might see the wonders of your law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And about thinking about your commandments being my faithful um, counsellors. I quite liked that. That's nice. That was nice, wasn't it? Mm. Great. Okay, let's read. Um... Sorry, Martin, quick, let me just ask a question. Mm. The, the epiphany, because, you know, you said our prayer um, thing had changed from today. Is it mm. because it's the end of epiphany? Yesterday was the end of Epiphany, the last day of Epiphany. And so now we have just a, a couple of weeks of ordinary time before Lent starts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Um, so um, we're going to read from Ecclesiastes for a change. Um, 3, 1 to 15. Um, yeah, we just jumped in there. I don't know why. But anyway. Okay, uh, Elizabeth, would you like to read that? What? Ecclesiastes? I haven't got Ecclesiastes. Oh. Haven't After you? the psalm, I've got Hosea chapter 11. Uh, I have Ecclesiastes, okay. I think you might be on the wrong day. No, I'm, not, I'm on the right well, day. You've gone too further down. Maybe you're on evening prayer or something. Yeah. No, I'm on morning because I went with the psalm. The psalm, I followed the psalm. And then I've got Hosea. Uh, I've got Ecclesiastes. I have Ecclesiastes as well. And I have Ecclesiastes. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll read the Ecclesiastes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, 
a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds, yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that they should all eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. I know that whatever God does endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken from it. God has done this so that all should stand in awe before him. That which is already has been that which is to be already is and God seeks out what has gone by so that's a very um, well-known passage isn't it from Ecclesiastes and quite often have it um, at funeral services um, has that line a time to mourn and a time to dance the time to um, to be born and a time to die yeah and a time to refrain from embracing. I noticed that too, yeah. We, yeah. we are in a time for, of We're refraining really from funny. embracing, aren't we? Yeah. Definitely, you, you know that you, you get fined for something like that now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's a lovely... £200 fine. For embracing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, Don't go around embracing. No. <laughs> Um, but it's interesting that it's there, isn't it? That there is a time for refraining, and we are in a time of refraining. Yeah, we are in this time of restraint. Um, and yeah, I think you know, accepting that is uh, yeah. probably sensible, isn't it? Really, rather than resisting it all the time, mm. trying to mm -hmm. accept it, yeah. And he said he has made everything suitable for its time. Mm. I mean, this time we are, it's the, I mean, it's what time, the time God wants us to be in anyway. Because yeah. he has made everything suitable for its time. Yeah, it is. Right. All right, let's scroll down now. Are um, you reading 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 1 to 19? No, you're definitely on the wrong day. No, I've got Wednesday the 3rd of February. Yeah, is that if it's evening prayer or night prayer? Is it evening? I think, I think some little mouse has been inside your... Contemporary, Wednesday the 3rd of February. And, and it's definitely morning prayer. I do. Yeah. Must be some kind of gremlins in your thing. Yeah. Um, you yeah, God's play... God's playing tricks on you. <laughs> you want some kind of Catholic, Popish um, <laughs> lectionary? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, the, 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 the Catholic uh, gremlin's been in there. I've got John 17, 20 to the end, yeah? That's what I have to. Yeah. All right. I, well, I, I don't know why. But... Sorry about that. Well, you could try shutting... Uh, the the pro uh, the 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 prayer thing and it reopening it that might do something. I'll try right. that. I mean. <laughs> okay, try that, Elizabeth. But um, but Sola, why don't you read that for us? Um, I ask not only on behalf of the of this, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, their word, that they may be all one, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, 
so that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved me even as you have loved me. Father, I desire that those also whom you have given me may be with me where, where I am, to see my glory, which you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you, and this know that you have sent me. I made your name known to them. I will make it known so that the love which, they, which you have loved me may be, may be in them, and I in them. Great, thank you. This is all part of Jesus' discourse <clears throat> to the disciples um, on Monday, Thursday, the night before he dies. And um, it's important to reflect on, you know, how Jesus sees um, his whole, the whole purpose of what he's doing is that they may all be one. Yeah, I mean, his gospel is that we might all be one uh it it is um his purpose to bring people back together as well as bringing them back into relationship with god yeah and i think that comes across in this passage that they may be come completely one uh as we are one yeah um so this sense of unity being the um ultimate aim of um of god i mean god's purpose really from a time of you know the beginning of the bible uh fracturing with the story of the tower of babel and, and all this separation um but the vision is that one day all nations will come together and be united as one family in Christ, yeah? <laughs> Sorry, that's the thought of that happening. <laughs> It'll be a great miracle. Yeah, but that's what, that's what we're striving for. If that, it's not that, unity in the sense that we all belong to one church. It's unity of belief, but mm -hmm. with diversity. Mm -hmm. But we are all individuals, I think and God it, made us individuals. Yeah, I think it embraces diversity, but we're, we're united in yes. our love for one another. Yes. Loving one another as he has loved us, yeah? Yes. And not... That's a challenge. Against, mm. uh, such things as popishness, in the sense mm. <laughs> that I can't what you're reading. <laughs> well, I understand it. You're obviously on something weird. Well, I've got Corinthians going on from what we've read before. Well, I, I admit that sounds um, feasible, but um, I'm just looking at... Um... I had the same psalm as you, and then I went to... It followed on to Hosea, so I don't know how you got Ecclesiastes. And then <laughs> the other reading... John. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's but happened. I definitely got Monday morning, Wednesday the 3rd of February, and Archbishop of Hamburg. Monday morning, did you say? Wednesday <laughs> morning. Okay. Wednesday the 3rd of February. Well, I, I, I can't understand it. You, you must be on a... There must be a, an alternative lectionary which you're on. Um, Never yeah, mind. Sorry about that. Okay, let's uh, scroll down and have, uh, let's hope you've got the right responsory then. I've got, Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Yes. Okay, you and you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with, me with your glory. For I am always with you, you hold me by my right hand. And afterwards no. receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide, guide me with your, your counsel, counsel and afterwards and receive, me, receive me, with me with glory. So let's pray. Lord, uh, continue to pray for our world and we, and we 
pray for patience as we go through this time of refraining from embracing and all the restrictions that we currently live with. Um, I live to people who are living on their own at this time. Um, Elizabeth and Anne and Paul here today and many, many others. And um, Lord, give courage and strength. Um, and we just hope and pray that there are not so many days now before we'll be able to get together again in person. But in the meantime, Lord, um, give us strength and endurance in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And um, I want to pray, Lord, for those who've asked for prayer by name, for Nyla Chambers, Jenny Figaro, Christopher and Vivian Golis, Sati Ganani, Evelyn Hanna, Elaine Hughes, Sean Hunt, Yaz Irani, Pete Jadhav, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Eloise Lybrand, Joan Martinez, Susan Rigby, Betty Seaman, Helen Sylvester, Linda Timpson, Daryl Warren, and the family and friends of all who mourn, who, who, who've died recently, all those who mourn, um, perhaps especially for Helen Parker and her family today, as we prepare for the funeral of her ex-husband, Alan Parker. Also, Lord, for Tony, Tony LeBlanc, for Dia, for Sarah Tonks and John Walton, please bring healing, bring hope and comfort in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We pray that they find all those who have this other strain of the virus, that they can be contacted and sorted out, whichever way that is to be, mm. as to prevent it spreading throughout the country. Amen. We also pray for all the people who are administering the vaccine. Yes. Mm. Those volunteers who are doing their best and succeeding in vaccinating so many people each day and we thank you for them mm. amen 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 father lord in the same way i pray i thank you um that i was able to take um get the vaccination yesterday and i've been well without any reaction but i thank you thank you lord mm. thank you lord amen continue to pray for our children, um, especially those feeling anxious about their studies and their families too, and for teachers at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God of grace and might, who sent your servant Ansgar to spread the gospel to the Nordic peoples, raise up, we pray, in our generation, messengers of your good news and heralds of your kingdom, that the world may come to know the immeasurable riches of, the sa of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
um, using the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who are trespassed against us. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Thanks. 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 Than